Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Experienced Microsoft users are usually skeptical to upgrade the operating system. This is why I made this short video about my experience with the upgrade of a PC which is used for Arduino IDE development. The PC is a Samsung Ultrabook and I upgraded from Windows 8.1. I had the Arduino IDE 165 installed and also the drivers for the Maple Mini and the ESP8266, the ESP12. The upgrade itself was straightforward. I had no problems with this computer. After the upgrade, I tested the Arduino IDE with the Arduino Uno, a DUE because of the 32-bit environment, an ESP8266 with the ESP12e module, a Maple and a Maple Mini. I also used a USB ASP programmer to program a Tiny's. The driver from Thomas Fischl is not signed. The installations process is similar to the one on Windows 8. It worked well and I was able to program a Tiny's without any problems. The only thing I had to take into account was to change the speed in the file avrdude.configuration. I had to change the entry default bit clock equals 2.5 to default bit clock equals 3.0. But pay attention, remove the number sign at the beginning, otherwise it will not work. This action reduces the clock. My Chinese USB ASP does not work at all without this change. I tried also the two serial converters I use, the CH340 and the C-Labs CP21XX. Both worked fine. So, as a summary, I had no problems with my Arduino IDE environment upgrading from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. I think the same should apply if you upgrade from Windows 7. For me as a Microsoft old-timer, this was somehow a surprise, but a nice one. I hope this short video was useful for you. Bye.